I got a tech tip for you today that might help you if you're having problems with your Windows 10 screensaver or power saving sleep option. Hey there, NJRoot22.com here with something we don't always do, and that's a tech tip. And this is a problem I have been having with my computer. I have a multi-monitor setup. It's pretty decent. I like it. It's not the fastest. It's not the best chip, but I have very good components, and I, I really like it. I just recently got three new 27-inch uh, monitors. You know, I used to just shut my monitors off before I went to sleep. I left my computer running for because I just like keeping it running, and I would just shut, because the, the power button was right in front. But these new monitors have the power button way in the back, and I have to kind of contort my body, because I have this wall-mounted uh, setup for the multi-monitors, and it, it would really be inconvenient. So I said, let me just turn the screensaver on and have the power option set after, like, whatever, 20 minutes, half hour, uh, the monitors will shut off by themselves. But I noticed that sometimes it wasn't working consistently. Sometimes the monitors wouldn't shut off, the screensaver wouldn't kick in, I'm like, ah, what's going on here? And I would do your usual internet search, and there's, uh, there's basically about 11 or 12 reasons why it, they, it wouldn't work. Those are the main reasons that you can read about. And I tried those basic setups. Uh, there's nothing wrong with my system. But I found out what was causing the problem, and I think it's frustrating because you can't find many reasons why something won't work because they're probably not all that popular. Uh, it, it's not, doesn't fit the category of it affects everybody. I guess it depends on the software. In, the, in this case, it's apps. It's apps that uh, caused the screensaver not to work. Now, in, the first thing I found that was a problem was I used something called the VLC Media Player. A lot of people use it. It's a very powerful, multi-purpose video player for doing DVDs, Blu-rays, but I use it to stream network cameras at our house, and I leave it running all the time on my screen to look, you know, to keep, to monitor what's going on here. And that was the culprit because there's a setting inside the advanced settings here. You go, you go to settings. There's a setting in there that, in, that disables the screensaver by default. So you have to go in and click it. So you go tools and then preferences. Then you click the bottom left radio button where it says all, and that'll switch it from basic preferences to advanced preferences. And then you go scroll the left panel all the way down to the bottom and click video. And once you click video, there is a setting right there in the middle that says disable screensaver. Uncheck that box and now the VLC media player will not disable your screensaver or the power settings on your computer. Now, if you're watching a DVD and you don't want to touch the computer, you have to re-click that so that your screensaver doesn't kick in. So we solved the problem with the VLC uh, media player and it worked for a while and then it happened again. Like the screensaver wouldn't work and the power, uh, the monitor, and the power to the monitors didn't shut off. And I discovered there was another app that caused an issue, and that was my video editor. We happen to use Filmora here for our cheap little videos. We're not doing any high quality uh, premiere work. I don't have the time for that. I need something a little simpler. I'm probably gonna start using DaVinci Resolve, but I'm not sure if this uh, video editor problem applies to Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, which are the two other popular video editors. So no matter what, it doesn't matter if my if I'm in the middle of editing a video or if I just have the app open, whether it's on screen or minimized, the screensaver or power options do not work. So if I want my screensavers to work, I have to shut Film Filmora down. So that's something these people uh, don't tell you in these helpful articles that you find on your Google search results. But lastly, you know, I've noticed that I needed to uh, quickly change my screensaver from like one minute off to maybe like when I'm working, maybe 20 or 30 minutes before it kicks in. Because it's annoying if it kicks in every time you stop touching the mouse or keyboard. And there's a way to put a, a quick launch icon on your desktop for the screensaver. And because you have to either go into the search bar and type screensaver every time. I, I just want to click an icon, set it, and close it. Here's how you make a handy quick launch button. You right click on your desktop in Windows 10 and then select shortcut. And then you give it a name. Uh, I called it screensaver. And there's a little command here that you put in as the target. I'll put it up on the screen here, but uh, it'll be in the comments and in this blog post on njroot22.com as well. But it's C colon backslash windows slash system32 slash run dll32.exe space shell32.dll 
comma, control underscore run DLL desk dot CPL comma comma one. And then when you click that, it'll just take you right to your screensaver and that's that. So that's a quick way to save a few seconds and a, a hassle. If you like our tech tip, please hit the bell and subscribe. And maybe every now and then we'll throw some new nuggets in there to help anybody out. So that's it. Have a good day. Thank mm -hmm. you.